this year I visited 19 virtual open days, which was a um, great loss of Saturdays and Sundays um, throughout August and, and, and July, I think. But uh, it, it was fascinating to see, to go from um, uh, event to event virtually. Um, and looking at, I spent time evaluating how easy they were to navigate, measuring how long it took to get responses uh, and looking at service standards. So there were, I, I read an article about this earlier, um, have had a lot of interaction on that since, but I wanted to share a couple of things in relation to that because uh, what I've found uh, from talking to a lot of universities across Australia is that virtual engagement with prospective in students is here to stay. Um, of course, it will be complemented and or, and or it will complement physical engage, like talking to people um, and, and seeing people in rooms when COVID allows. Um, but uh, at the same time, the, the opportunities that are afforded by through webinars, live chat, open days, virtual event, virtual expos are, are really clear. Now, I know there's a lot of interest in this area, so I just wanted to provide a few insights and then we can certainly uh, talk more about it. Firstly, um, everyone clearly had to scramble to make it work this year. So there's lots of effort and great um, energy put into uh, each university putting on virtual open days. Um, but uh, I think it's fair to say, and, and most people would agree, there's a fair way to go before we get it right. This was a, a, you know, a watershed year where everyone had to um, move and adopt, but um, there, there are real opportunities to significantly improve in the user experience. <laughs> And the universities that invest early and well in that will have a significant advantage. Uh, secondly, the shortcomings were typically not the fault of technology. Um, it, it was all, it, the issues were almost all around the way the technology were being used. So there were a range of platforms in use um, and it's the expertise and vision in, in using the technology uh, that, that is going to be the area where people will find great advantage, um, particularly moving into next year, where many unis are looking at what do we do next um, and uh, looking at the way that uh, technology works from a user perspective is going to be really vital. Were there many problems? Yes, certainly there were, and I've catalogued them all, but um, in terms of sharing some of the, the key details, some platforms took me up to half an hour to log into. That's before you get to the open day. Now, you know, if you weren't actually going around visiting 18, 19 open days and trying to work it out, I can, uh, I'm, everyone with a, a 18 or a 19 year old or a 17 year old child will know that uh, half an hour doesn't cut it. So that's logging on is a serious problem. Um, secondly, the demands for the fingerprint of my firstborn, the manufacturer of my car, you know, all the, all the data greed that is going on is a massive deterrent to logging on. So we have to get that nice balance between filling out your CRM so you've got a bit of detail and you can talk to me later without overburdening me and asking me all my detail. I was really quite surprised by just how far some of those forms went. Um, secondly, uh, response, for, response times for live chat were really not good, they're really not live chat, could be 10 minutes or more. Um, again, if I wasn't there trying to evaluate it, I certainly wouldn't have been hanging around by the time the response came. Thirdly, um, and this is a really interesting one, the follow-up is pretty frankly terrible. Um, I, I received follow-up calls from just three out of the universities that I, I contacted. Now, I have a son who's in year 12. I was genuinely searching for information and seeking feedback and follow-up from pretty much all those universities I contacted. So the fact that there is that level of follow-up is it shows there's there's room for improvement. Uh, content uh, is, is with content, where do we start? But it basically, it actually doesn't still have to be dull. You're allowed to be a little bit creative. You don't have to spend the full hour telling me your story. I'd be really happy to find out the key points in uh, five minutes. If, uh, and it was really 
really, really clear. If you could hook me in with a direct conversation or a quick webinar with someone who is engaging, my son switched on to a couple of courses straight away on the basis of the first five minutes of a video. Um, uh, so yeah, it really, really, there's a long way to go to content navigation, surprisingly challenging. So I know you want to try and gamify the experience, suck in all those 17, 18 year olds who don't want to study and therefore want to spend time navigating their way around a fake campus, but it's not going to work for the parents. It's not going to work for many studious 18 year olds. Um, navigation, you can have fun with it, but you have to make some simple shortcuts so you can find the information that you want. I think the last thing is um, people have talked a lot for many years about differentiation and lack of differentiation in the, in the sector. But if you go and visit 18 or 19 open days and then try and um, find points of difference, um, it's surprisingly hard. It, so finding a compelling reason to choose one university over another, it, you'd be surprised how tough that is. Um, and that's coming from someone who spent 18 years trying to tell other people those things for different universities. Mm -hmm.